I'm Kevin Callan, and today on Bugs, Bears, and Beaver Fever, we're going to talk about biting insects. They're nasty. I've tried to like them. <laughs> I don't like them. And there's a lot out there. Uh, oh, we can start off with a mosquito. You think about it, the mosquito, uh, it's just a female that bites you. Uh, the males actually don't. The females need your blood for them. They need the protein from your blood to actually uh, hatch their eggs, so that's why they're doing this. Uh, the males actually feed on juices of uh, plants. But what the female does is it actually lands on you uh, and then it puts this little proboscis, a little nose part, through your skin to your capillary and then it spits saliva into your uh, uh, wound so the blood doesn't clogulate. Now actually if you actually squat it while it's doing that, you're going to push all the saliva that that mosquito has into your uh, capillary and it's going to swell right up. It's nasty. So in one sense you might want to let the mosquito do its business first before you kill it. You got the black fly. The black fly is a very small little fly, a lot smaller than a house fly. Can hardly see it. It hatches in moving water and the mosquito hatches in stagnant water. So if you have a stream or a river nearby you're going to have a lot of black flies. What the black fly does to you, a little bit more disgusting actually than the mosquito, it actually slices your skin so sharply you don't even feel it and then it pulls your skin apart with stylets in its mouth like this and then it goes and puts its head in the wound and then slices you again and basically burrows itself through your skin till it gets to your capillaries, slices your capillaries, and then starts lapping the blood up for about three minutes. It takes about three minutes for it to gain enough blood for it to have enough protein for it to lay its eggs as well, because it's just the female that actually bites you for that. So the stable fly has got to be uh, my least favorite uh, insect. It, it really hurts. It's both the male and female too that bite you. That's just nasty. Uh, they, uh, they look actually just like a house fly, except two little white patches on top of its eyes and, and that's it. They can fly very quickly and very hard to kill actually. They, uh, what they do is on the proboscis they have little, little tiny fish hooks and when they pull that proboscis out of you, man the pain is, is unbelievable. Why they uh, uh, are attracted to you, uh, well you see they're not really after your blood, I mean they, they drink your blood and everything else, but what they eat is rotten flesh and that's why you see a lot of them if, if there's a lot of rotten debris along the shoreline, there's a lot of uh, stable flies out uh, that, that, that time of year. So why they're flying to your ankles and why they're called ankle biters is because, uh, well, campers, their socks smell. They smell like uh, rotten flesh. And mine really stink. And then you got a bigger fly called the deer fly. It's about the size of a house fly. It's got beady little green eyes uh, and stripes on its abdomen. And also it flies really quickly. I mean, there's nobody that can outrun a deer fly. And uh, they hurt, uh, they really hurt. They take a chunk out of you when they bite you. So how to protect yourself from these biting insects? Well, let's start off with uh, black flies and mosquitoes. Black flies and mosquitoes are attracted to you by your CO2 emission, your heat coming out of your body. So the more frenzy you get about the bugs, the worse the bugs are going to be on your body. So what you do is you get a buddy that actually is more of a frenzy kind of type of person than you are, and they become the fly pie, so that's good. Or you actually just smother yourself with DEET. Um, buy any product with DEET in it. The higher amount, the better. Maybe if you're, you know, put it on the kids, use low amount. But uh, DEET does work. Yeah, after long periods of time, it is not good for you, obviously. So uh, you could do two, two things. Don't go out for a long period of time. If you're only going out for the weekend, putting some DEET on is not going to be that much of a problem. But if you're going out for long periods of time, just put it on your clothes. Put it on your bandana. Don't put it directly on your skin. Well, if you're going to get rid of uh, stable flies, well, if they're attracted to rotten flesh or your smelly socks, wash your socks. Uh, I actually use uh, fly swatter too uh, when I'm walking around and I, I swat them with that as well. Deer flies, well, they are attracted by shiny objects. Sounds a little odd, I know it, but you get a piece of duct tape and you, you roll it up in a ball and you actually stick it on the top of your hat. And they'll see that shiny bit of duct tape and they'll land on that before they land on you. And they'll get stuck there. And at the end of the day, you can actually take that duct tape off your hat, look how many uh, deer flies are on there, and humanely release them in back into the woods. Right, as if I would do that.